Never before has there been a more sweaty boy on camera. Hi, my name's Johnny, and today we are taking a look at the sterling sub-series Ray 4. If you are new to this channel, make sure you have subscribed and leave a like, of course. But seriously, if you're new to this channel, my kind of thing is affordable basses and showcasing that you can get great sounds out of affordable gear. And that's exactly what we have here today with the Sterling by Music Man Sub Ray 4. Music Man are so famous in the bass world for making the legendary Stingray bass as well as the Sterling bass and the Bongo bass and the Big Al and the Sabre and Cutlass Caprice, the list goes on. You might have recognized one of those names in there, Sterling. Sterling is one of the Ball family sons to Ernie Ball and Sterling is the name that they chose to have the Indonesian made Music Man basses and guitars as well, but we don't talk about those. Now, before I go into talking more about this bass, I do want to say that this bass has been sent to me by the lovely folks over at Sterling. So it's not going to impact anything that I say to you, but just to be totally transparent, they have sent it to me and thank you very much to them indeed. So starting at the top, oh boy, it's a Stingray. Beautiful satin maple neck. It's, it's so smooth. It is gorgeous i love it no sprouting fret edges or anything like that now this bass comes in uh, an array an array of different colors and i opted to go for this kind of tobacco-y burst matte finish which i think is really nice matte finish with a satin neck is just such a good combination it makes it so smooth to play especially if you're going hell for truss rod adjustment can be found down here at the base of the neck which then goes into our toilet seat pickguard. This one's all black on the back which you know is a bit of a cheap touch considering the finishes on the front. I would have liked to have seen that on the back as well but you know can't have it all. Six bolt construction on the neck and then this battery here powering the two band active preamp that is on board. Powering this classic Music Man bridge humbucker we've got a master volume and a treble and a bass boost and cut. Time to talk about the knobs. The bass and treble controls have a little notch in the middle to say when it's flat and that's really good. They feel great. The volume control is a bit, don't know if the camera will get this very well, but it does that thing where it kind of goes up and down as it goes around, but it's not that big of a deal really. It still works. Now this is slightly different to your traditional Stingray. They're kind of more modern, more commonly found Stingrays have a three band preamp. So you've got that mid control as well. Now you might think, oh, this isn't so good, you know, less options. I actually find that sometimes to be really good. One of my favorite Stingrays I've had has been the Sterling Ray 24. So the model up from this one, it had a very similar neck and had a two band preamp, meant to be a more vintage kind of vibe. They really nailed it with that one. But have they nailed it with this one? Let's find out. Now let's have a listen to what this thing can do. We're gonna be hearing our demo through the Line 6 HX Stomp with the Gatling Kruger head going into, going into, going into, going into the Ampeg SVT 8x10 cap.
you're getting a really, really good bang for your buck with these bases because they're just great. They're just great. They feel so good. I cannot stop talking about the neck on this base. It is so good to play straight out of the box. I've not done any tweaking to the setup really and a phenomenal player. You're really getting fantastic value for money in that regard. However, I am not still not totally sold on the sound of this base. Don't get me wrong. It it doesn't sound bad, but it sounds good. But I think when you move up the price range of Music Man products, you definitely start hearing the difference a lot more. You get this kind of glassier, more clarity on the highs. Just like that little 10% extra gleam on top of the tone that, that makes it really stand out in that classic Stingray way. It kind of gets you like 75% of the way there in what you want to have a Stingray sound, I think. So for me, the things that I would upgrade is going to be pick up in the preamp. However, I definitely feel like those are the things that are fine to be upgraded, you know? If I want to do that in the future, I can. I'd much rather have a fantastic play bass that sounds bad than a great sounding bass that plays bad i can fix the sound more easily than i can the playability if the foundation isn't solid the foundation on this bass is super super solid which makes it an amazing modding platform now in the excitement of doing this review i have totally forgotten to weigh this bass so here is the weight on screen now i have got a american music man in the case down there and this bass is a hell of a lot lighter. It makes for a really nice playing experience overall, and I think is a massive benefit over an American one. So there we have it. Not perfect, but amazing feeling and playing guitar, and that's what you want really, isn't it? If you really like what you've seen here and like what I do here on YouTube, I've actually opened up a tip jar. So, you know, like you would tip your waiter or something, um, yeah, you can leave me a tip as well for entertaining you today and providing you with that weekly dose of low-end love. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.